What's up everyone, Travis here from letslearndesign.com and today I have an Illustrator tutorial on how to map some of your artwork to 3D objects inside Illustrator. So this is basically going to go over how to uh, create some 3D styled logos um, using a pretty cool feature that I just learned about in Illustrator called uh, Map Art and it's under the 3D uh, options. So basically uh, what you need to do this is you need to have a symbol or uh, different types of symbols and these can be something like this. So this is basically just a whole bunch of rectangles repeated and essentially when you're building these you have to think this symbol here is going to be wrapped around something like a sphere or uh, another object. So basically create what you want to do whether it be a whole bunch of circles or some kind of pattern. I created this just as an example. So once you're once you've done that click and drag this entire object into your symbols panel and name it and we'll name it red rect red for red rectangles and to get to the symbols panel just go to window symbols to show that so now we've got this new symbol I can delete this I've got my symbol here which I can drag and drop into anywhere I need to so now that I've got the symbol ready now I need to prepare uh, my sphere and to do that I'm gonna take the uh, ellipse tool here and I'm gonna do this make a, a perfect circle by holding shift. I'm going to take the direct selection tool and I'm going to delete this right side. So now I can create, a, I can basically rotate this around to create a sphere. Now to do that with this selected you're going to go to Effect 3D Revolve and now what we want to do is we want to check the preview box. Now it took me a little bit of time to figure out what was going on here but basically the offset here was from left edge, changed that to right edge and now we have a sphere. Um, the other thing I like to do is I like to change the shading to diffuse because I don't like that really bright uh, highlight there. So now we've got our sphere and now uh, what we want to do is we want to click on this button down here called map artwork. So you can see it says map artwork to surfaces of a 3D object. So when you click on that this only has one surface so you'll see surfaces one of one and I'll show you some other examples where you can change what surface you want to map it to. And now it's asking which symbol uh, do you want to be mapped and we're gonna go ahead and click this red rectangle that we created and you can see it down here and now uh, there's a scale to fit button here we can click that and now this uh, this entire symbol is basically scaled to the entire sphere now here's what's really cool this little button down here called invisible geometry is going to basically hide the sphere and only show the artwork so let's click that and now you can see uh, this is actually wrapping all the way around and now if we click on shade artwork now you can kind of see how 3D it is. And uh, with this, we can actually come in here and we can adjust where we want the artwork to be shown. So maybe we want like a, a big hole at the top so we can rotate this down and now we've got this hole down here. You can also, uh, let's see, you can rotate it kind of like so. Um, let's scale it this way some, kind of move it around. And we'll move this up a little bit. but you can definitely play around with this and uh, then you can go ahead and click OK and now what's really cool is we can rotate this symbol still and, ro and it'll affect so here's the opening right here on the top maybe we don't want that to be shown and we want to just see the bottom part right here there's the opening way up there so uh, that's really cool and then another thing is we can click more options and now we can actually adjust the lighting as well maybe we want the ambient light all the way to zero to show some really darks here on the uh, on the shadows we can adjust where we want the light source to be and uh, some other steps down here blend steps so you can kinda see the steps of gradient here we can bump those up if we want a more solid gradient there and then you just click OK and there you have it you have your object here and uh, I believe if I go to object expand appearance I now have every single piece of gradient available to me to adjust which would probably be a headache to do so basically you'd want to get this just right before you uh, click OK so to show you another example um, let's go ahead and do this rectangle here and uh, I'm gonna bring in one of these sides and now I'm gonna rotate this so I'm gonna go to effect 3D revolve go ahead and uh, I'm gonna hide these options click preview so now we've got this thing going here we'll do diffuse shading and let's kinda move it so it's almost directly facing us and now let me click map art and now you can see here we have one of three surfaces and you can see this red outline is showing me what surface this is basically a bottom view and so this red outline is saying this is the surface we're gonna map it to if I click on this button two of three here's the top surface 
and then here's three of three is basically along this kind of cone shape which is what we want for this so now let me go ahead and select my artwork and there it is let me go scale to fit and uh, let me bring this down like so maybe I can rotate it like that and let's see we'll rotate it up kinda reminds me of the Windows logo let me undo the scale to fit uh, here let me redo this real quick map art uh, one sec three of three map art red rectangle and uh, let me just rotate it like that and let's see kinda want it to wrap back around itself maybe it needs to be longer shade artwork that's pretty cool click OK oh we actually need to go back and check invisible geometry there we go so now we can see it's kinda of wrapping back around so maybe we want it to be like right there and this time I'm gonna leave shade artwork unchecked I'm gonna click OK click OK and now with my object here I'm gonna to go to object expand appearance and with my direct selection tool I'm gonna to go ahead and delete this cone shape stuff make sure I don't have any so I'll delete that we'll delete the bottom portion of it we'll delete this down here and we'll go ahead and delete these guys and this I'm just gonna show you the process of how you can kinda of make this actually look like a logo um, let's see if there's anything left down here nope we're clean down there we'll delete all these but it's a really awesome tool and uh, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun checking it out so now what I wanna do is I wanna select these kinda like top portions and then I'll select these bottom ones and uh, apply a gradient to them so by holding the shift key and the direct selection tool I'm just selecting all of these and then I'll need to select these which would kinda be hard to see and I could probably switch the mode to wireframe which would really help but for the sake of time I'm just gonna say that those are good to go so now I'll take my gradient tool here and uh, we'll drag across so now we have a white to black but let's say we want like uh, a light blue to a somewhat dark blue apply that across and there we go now we have a light to dark blue and then we'll select these oh, direct selection tool we'll select all of these and then we'll select the remaining the remaining uh, reds pretty much all of that and I'm not going to be able to get back there unless I switch to wireframe and spend a lot more time on this but let's basically apply a reversed the reverse of that gradient to these with the gradient tool oh, I messed up <laughs> let's see select all these and select all these and let's say that's right I wonder why it's not there we go and let's say that's gonna be light to dark so you can kinda see how this would work and you can make it look 3d and then you know you can add your text and whatnot and, and you can adjust all these as individual uh, layers or individual shapes too which is really cool so you can do a lot of interesting stuff play around with that and uh, once again that's effect 3d and then you can do all these uh, like revolve and then revolve a shape and then the map art is what you want and you want to make sure you check that invisible geometry so I'm definitely excited to mess around with this more and see what you guys can come up with so definitely post a comment below uh, with a picture or um, a link to something that you've created using this technique thanks